central tenet of the settlement that they have achieved and the purpose and goal of today's hearing is to provide complete closure of this matter. This court will examine the parties this morning concerning their mutual desire to enter into a comprehensive settlement. Lucy will receive from petitioner's net estate after payment of specific gifts determined in petitioner's sole and absolute discretion to persons and entities other than his children no less than the amount that petitioner's other children are receiving from his estate. The house wherein Lucia currently resides is to be placed in trust for her, and upon her 18th birthday, or when petitioner's child support obligation ceases, whichever first occurs, be sold and the proceeds to be placed into the trust and dispersed in accordance with the terms and conditions. Petitioner is to pay the sum of $750,000 to respondent in accordance with the following terms and conditions. Has petitioner heard the terms and conditions of the settlement? Uh, yes, I have, Your Honor. Does petitioner understand the terms and conditions of the settlement? Your Honor, I, yes, I do. And does petitioner agree to accept the terms and conditions of the settlement? Yes. Does petitioner give full authority to his counsel to execute whatever documents are necessary to consummate the settlement? Yes, sir. Has respondent heard the terms and conditions of the settlement? Yes, sir. And does respondent understand the terms and conditions of the settlement? Yes, I do. Does respondent agree to accept those terms and conditions? 